Don't make food your friend. Food is your fuel. If you make food into your friend, the Bible actually warns us it could be a cause of your poverty. Make sure your wife is your friend, not a taco. If you love sleep and oversleeping and being a sluggard and lazy is different than getting a good night's sleep. If you look at and you see that you're poor, maybe struggling, one of the poor decisions that you probably have, maybe you have, is you love things you should not love. Food and sleep. If you follow these daydream ideas that you extract somewhere online, instead of living in real world, it will lead you to poverty. The moment you begin to live in a way that doesn't honor God in the area of sexual purity, then what it does is it leads to poverty. But the moment we seek the pleasures of sin or we seek the pleasures of life, instead of seeking being productive, instead of seeing being useful, effective, and our whole goal is to be happy. It is very dangerous. And he says, you want happiness to chase you? Chase me. Poor person is so easily offended. A poor person is so sensitive. It's, you, 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 got, you got a little like pray for three hours before you address him on a basic little correction. Because you never know, he might want to quit after that. That's, that's the poor mentality. Be eager to learn, hungry for improvement. Ask for feedback. When you do a work, you ask your employer and you ask, you say, listen, and you don't have to sugarcoat it. You tell me it as it is, I can take it. Why? Because I'm not here for my self-esteem. I'm here for service. I want to grow. Chasing get rich quick schemes will get you poor quick. There is no such a thing as getting rich quick. What prodigal son did was amazing is that he repented. The Bible says, he who covers his sin will not prosper. That means you can make all the wrong decisions. You can always turn around. Bible says is that he repented and I want you to notice what he did first. He didn't say, let me go get a job, a better one. He says, no, let me go and get a better relationship with my dad. If you are in the low place right now and you're financially struggling, maybe you're blaming the economy, COVID and all of that. Maybe you're blaming yourself. But I want to ask you a question. Where's your relationship with your father? Your heavenly father let's start with that first let's come back to him let's stop chasing money let's stop chasing career success and let's say lord i want to chase you i want to be hungry for you